We begin tonight with breaking news. A Cornell student is under arrest and he is expected to appear in court tomorrow afternoon in Syracuse for his role in making online threats towards his own campus's Jewish community. Good evening. I'm Matt Mulcahy. You're watching NBC3 News at 11. The suspect is 21-year-old junior engineering major from Pittsburgh, the area just outside Rochester. His name is Patrick Dodd. The anti-Semitic threat he's accused of left the Cornell campus in shock as police agencies stepped up forces on campus this week in the interest of safety for students. These students will sleep a little bit better tonight knowing that there is a person of interest in custody. And the message is clear. You will be caught. You may think that you can be anonymous and post what you want, but there will be consequences. And this will be an example of how serious we are taking these threats against New Yorkers. Our Dale Ostrander is digging deeper tonight into these threats that Patrick Dye is accused of making and how his classmates on campus are reacting to it tonight. The suspect that was arrested and charged with posting anti-Semitic comments is 21-year-old Patrick Day, a junior attending Cornell. The federal complaint alleges Day posted threatening messages to the Cornell section of an online discussion site. Those messages included calling for the death of Jewish people, shooting campus buildings, and stabbing anyone of Jewish descent. Day also allegedly threatening to shoot up 104 West, a kosher dining hall on campus. The dining hall is also next to the Cornell Jewish Center, where many Jewish students spend their time on campus and have been battling with death threats that have been made to Jewish students on campus. I, I can't imagine what would go through the mind of someone like that. Just, first of all, you're making threats on like this, like this random website. Like, why would you do that? And I, I think it's like really ridiculous. And I'm, I'm glad that the person was taken into custody. I mean, I've seen general anti-Semitic sentiment and things like that, but to have not only a direct threat, but a direct threat to a building that I personally go to and eat at and see friends at, like, that was really scary and that was really, it was bad. Friedman never thought that one of his classmates could be responsible for the death threats made. I really don't think and I don't believe that somebody at Cornell would make such evil and vile and disgusting threats and I really think that it's an attempt to tear us apart. I don't want to be torn apart. You know, I don't want to look at my fellow classmate and think that's my enemy. I want to think that's my classmate. I want to have, you know, conversations and have dialogues with those people and try to find common ground and common understanding. In another post made by Day, he allegedly threatened to stab and slit the throat of any Jewish males he sees on campus and throw any Jewish females off a cliff, amongst other comments that we are choosing not to share due to their vulgarity. Now, Dai is expected to make his initial appearance tomorrow in federal court in Syracuse that is scheduled for 2.30 in the afternoon. The charge filed against Dai carries a maximum sentence of five years in prison and a fine up to $250,000. In studio, I'm Dale Ostrander. Thank you, Dale. NBC3 will bring you to the court case tomorrow. Stick with us on air and online at cnycentral.com.